Falls River, New Jersey at Cat Asylum Park. What we're going to be hearing from today are some students of the Toms River School Poseidon Academy tell you a little bit about Cat Asylum and the local ecosystem. In the distance, you can see Mosquito Cove, and over to my left, Silver Bay. John Gaddis and his family purchased the land in 1895. They enjoyed hunting, boating, and fishing. So he built a hunting lodge, a farmhouse, and a boat dock for his family and city friends. The farmhouse eventually burned down during a forest fire. The forest fire caused the destruction of the Cass Island ecosystem. It's in the process of recovery called secondary succession. Secondary succession is the progressive replacement of the ecosystem. In the distance, you can see Atlantic White Cedar. They have been there since the 1920s. Prior to the 1920s, the northern part of Barnegat Bay where Caddis Island is located was mainly freshwater. After the Manasquan that was constructed, salt water from the ocean came into the northern portion of the bay, and as a result, the Atlantic White Cedar, which is a freshwater species, was killed. In the background, you can see many of the same species, and there's some animals in here that are very similar to the ecosystem of the Pine Barrens in New Jersey. Over here we have a mosquito channel behind me. This was dug out in order to control the mosquito population. The way these mosquito channels work is by the channel is dug out by someone and the water from the Silver Bay section of the Barnegat Bay flows into these channels. The mosquitoes will lay their eggs in these stagnant waters where they can be fertilized. However, the fish will swim up these channels and eat the mosquito eggs. This is an environmentally friendly and efficient way to control the mosquito population. Here on either side of me are fragmites. Fragmites were used by early European settlers in the 1700s. They were used for taxing their goods to bring to the Americas. Notice these green fragmites right here. Every year the people of Caddis Island Park have to cut these back because they're such an invasive species. Look at them. They're Plankton is also consumed by sea horses and pipefish, which live in the eelgrass beds in the bay. Many species of birds, such as great blue herons and other aquatic birds, migrate to Caddis Island. Here they stop and eat these small creatures. Fish such as bluefish, drum, and striped bass prey upon the tiny killifish, such as Atlantic silverside and sheepshead minnow. Mammals like raccoons feed on the shellfish in the water as well, but at the top of the food chain is the osprey. North American osprey is a large predatory bird with a wingspan that can reach up to six feet long. They can be seen around Caddis Island from spring through fall, but are rarely if ever seen in the winter. During the winters, the osprey can be found in areas such as Florida, the Caribbean, on the Gulf Coast, and in South America. Ospreys use the platforms like the ones around the island's nest. They often use old nests and artificial platforms near water to lay eggs. Year after year, the osprey returned to Caddis 